Hello there, you beautiful dreamers. Welcome back to Let's Play Yumi Tuki episode 149. Let's go. Gosh, we have a lot of adventuring to do, but for a change, we don't actually have a new version of the game to worry about. We're just going to dive straight in. It's uh, coming up to 2 in the morning, which is unusual. Um, I've had to really carve out some time from my busy day to actually get this fucking game recorded, but that's okay. It's nice. It means I get to spend some nice quality evening time with you, the viewer, as I probably struggle to make coherent sense. Because I've had a fair bit to drink, I've had a bad day, so that all uh, hints towards this being a bit of a disaster, but well, we'll press on. We'll see how we get on. We have a long, a long fucking trip ahead of us. You wouldn't believe how fucking long we have to go to get to the, uh, the interesting things that we want to see today. And are there going to be hazards on the way? Hazards. I managed to munch that up, it sounded like it was slurring a bit. Who would have thought I'd been drinking all day? Has the was uh we've got Jimmy Rosa Hazard. She's in her hazard suit. She's like the Gordon Friesman. The Gordon Friesman of dreams. Um I know we're looking at this again. We've been here many times, but it's good. I mean I like this. I like this journey. Uh, and I have rehearsed this a bit off camera because I want to uh, not make a complete arse of this. And oh boy, there are some, how should we call them, game mechanics, which we're going to encounter. Um, yeah, good, good. Now, um, we're going to encounter these game mechanics, and they're probably going, they might, well, okay, one of the two things might happen. They're going to work in our favour, or they're going to make this an extremely unpleasant, wow, I found it easily, nice. Um, they're going to make this extremely unpleasant. Um, I, I'm kind of game for either. It'll be entertaining either way, I'm sure. Uh, I don't feel like taking the stairs. We've got our steps up to 100 million today. We don't need to do. We don't need to do the stairs. Uh, so we've we've spent a little bit of time in this area, not too recently, but um, we're back here, and there's some stuff which has been added in. In fact, there's a lot of stuff which has been added in here over the time. Uh, either we've not been playing or we've not actively been looking at this area and it's 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 some cool content so I'm definitely excited to be going into it. Now when we came up here before I don't think we did this because I'm sure we'd have remembered this but uh, this, this is good fun. A bit of bat, a bit of bat action. Everyone loves the bat. And we get to fly over the sky, the night sky, the 2am sky. Some nice parallax going on. I've got to say, this is, I mean, this is beautiful. Why can't we have more of this in RPG Maker? I'd love, I'd love to look at how this is coded because it, it may even not be that complicated, but it looks very pretty. So we don't really have a lot to do here other than just pad for a few minutes. A few minutes, hopefully not. Maybe a, a minute. I'm going to use that time to drink my tea. Hmm. We're on the reserve tea bags, as it turns out, the uh, the mainline tea bags are, are out, so we're on the we're on the reserve tea bags here, the the weird tea bags which have no brand on them, but they do have the little drawstrings on them. That's very premium, isn't it? The moon looks different. I wonder if that's a thing. I have no idea. I don't even know what a thing is anymore. Urtsuki is a thing. She's the thing with wings. She's the winged thing. The thing with wings winging her thing through the, the night sky. We're going to make for the, wound, the the moon to pass. And then we're going to... We're going to see what comes up. A dark screen is a good a good thing to see. Good. Right. Okay. Uro, you are making me a happy camper today. So we're here. So this is like an alternative way to get here. We didn't get here... Um, through that route when we came here last time, I say last time, recently. Um, so there's this alternative route you can take to get here. Uh, I I don't know if it's faster. Pro in fact, it probably is a lot faster because it took us fucking ages to get here before, didn't it? Um, and we are going to retread some of the stuff that we did in here before. There is some other content in here, but we're not going to look at that today. That's another video. Um, we're going to go into the wee plaza with the hole, and we're going to go in here. 
Remember this room, right? Uh, I noticed something. I might have commented on this before, but I might as well reiterate it in case you didn't see it. Ura's reflection doesn't um, have the effect on it. I guess there's a technical reason for that. I don't really care, actually. Uh, hi, I'm gonna I'm gonna take your um, spinny bit, if that's okay. It's all right. I'll bring it back. I swear. I'm not gonna. We're gonna put it in the music box, and we're gonna go to bed now. I think when we played this before, this area, which, I mean, I just, I like all this. I like all this. It's nice. Good quality. Good quality Uro sleeping. I can actually see what's going on because I've got my fucking recording software up. Usually when I'm looking at this, I can't fucking see anything because I'm playing it on a tiny 640 by 480 window. And now it's like fucking, it's like, it's like switching to 4K. It's like switching to real life. It's like going outside. There you go. Yeah, we're, we're up. We're up and about. Now, one of two things is going to happen here, and depending on what happens here, is going to control how the video unfolds. You'll recall when we came here before, we found a ladder. I want to find that again, but something else can happen in this area, depending on how lucky we are. I kind of hope that it happens because it's interesting, and I'd like to talk a bit about... Oh, fucking Christ, right, great. Fuck, she's coming. Shit. Right. Oh, you fucking shit. Run, 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 run. Just go. Oh, God. Fucking right. Okay. She's fucking, she's still there. Right. So for, for some reason, this area now has a mechanic in it which is unlike anything else in the entire game. And it stresses me the fuck out because, as you saw there, that fucking shadow bitch can appear from fucking any old angle. And if she hits you, things don't work out ideally. And the only way you can really tell if she's coming is through the footstep sounds, which are essentially the same as your footstep sounds. And when you cross over the threshold, you have to sort of quickly pay attention to hear if she's coming. Like there. But she could actually, in some cases, she appears behind you. Which is hilarious. Now, you notice the music's also getting... Oh, fucking... The music's getting quieter. That's indicative of something which... Oh, fucking God, my God. Right, just go, Uro. Oh, Christ, right. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, I fucking jumped out of my skin there. Oh, Christ. I knew that was going to... I knew it. I knew it was going to happen. Fuck, right, fine. It happened, right? Now, we need to just sort of play for some positive out of this situation. Um, this could be a long video. This could be a very long video. Some things could happen here, which would be nice. Either we could find the bed again, which means we can sort of reset this. Uh, there's the telephone. I can't remember, honestly, if we did some of these things last time, so we'll just do them again. It's fine. You, you won't remember either. You've got... I fucking thought I could hear her again. Uh, the bed's there. Let's just piss about for a bit, because if something else happens, then I am okay with that. None of, none of this... Either I was extremely lucky when I was here last time, or this is some fucking plan introduced by the fucking Yumi Tuki developers because I don't know, maybe they hate me personally. Uh, th there is a science to this, but because we've been caught, you'll notice that the sort of the ambient music is gone. And that essentially means you are rudderless in this adventure. 
and Uru can just sort of wander around aimlessly. There's some books. I've never seen that before. There's some things which happen which are, are kind of neat that add a little bit of flavour to this bit. Uh, again, we didn't encounter those last time. Um, you can spend a long time in here. I don't really want to because it's, it's just random. Uh, so, and there's no, because it's random, there's no way to kind of like backtrack either. Uh, so I'm hoping we may just happen upon something that I want to see. But if we don't, we may need to make an executive decision to GTFO, as the kids say. The kids say that? I don't think kids say that. I think, I think older people who want to sound like they're appealing to kids say things like that. GTFO. Um, yeah, why not? Why not? We'll look at this. Right, so you remember this here, right? We came up here. Now, since we have been caught by the Shadow Lady, the important gimmick that we need to use... It will only work because uh, because James Bond has taken over the running of affairs. And, yeah, that route of progress is, is kind of fucked. So we need to find something else to do. Something else to keep young Uro entertained. You know she has a short attention span. So do I for that matter. I really don't know if I like this area at all. I don't know if I care for randomness in my Yuminiki fan games. Like this degree of randomness. And also that stuff with the Shadow Lady. I mean, it's so bollocks because... Okay. Right then. A mysterious mirror. When you use it a couple of times, this happens. So we're in this area. Um, and this area is... It's kind of loud. There's some things that are interesting in here. I hope it's not stupidly loud. Even just compared to the game normally, it is extremely loud. And you have this weird sort of isometric moving. You don't move like Uru normally does. And the gimmick here is that there are some gates dotted around the level. And randomly, some of these gates will do something novel which we need to try and find and hopefully there's one let's go play with it um by doing that we will be able to get ourselves back on the right track now i must say there's something about all of this that i really dig the sort of glitchy nature of it all there's a vending machine there i don't i don't really want to spend too much time pissing about with that it's got a cool sort of wavy look to it you can use them from both sides, which I suppose is a a nice thing to know. It is a maze, so well fucking done. Yeah, we played with that one already. Um, and as everybody knows, my skill at negotiating my way around a maze is legendarily bad, so because this is random, we essentially have to try and find all of the things that are in the maze. Uh, RNG suggests that we may have to try them all. Um, and knowing my luck, we will. So, we're going to have to try and find them all. There are some other things which we might come across in here. But listen to me, it's like I fucking know what I'm talking about for a change. This is what happens when you actually spend a bit of time... <sighs> Who am I kidding? I, I tried this a lot in my own time, and... You know, see what happened there with the Shadow Lady? I must have tried about fucking five times consecutively and had exactly the same thing happen. Where the fucking Shadow Lady would just sort of be like, I'm here! Boom! Kicked me right in the fucking gonads. I'm, I'm, I'm not into that, really. I, as much fun as the Shadow Ladies are. Right, okay, I'm failing my navigation a bit here. I, we need to try and get over to that section on the left. 
And we are failing at it. Because we need to... Let's try going to the right. We're maybe we're thinking a bit too linearly. Let's find the highway. The hell highway. It's very much what this area is styled like, but in a sort of a... A bit crushed. A lo-fi kind of manner. As I said, I don't... I don't mind this area. I think it, it's it's quite interesting. It's a maze. I don't, you know, you got you know what I feel about mazes. You know what I feel about all grains. In fact, I think they should be destroyed. It is a little obnoxious, though, the way the music sort of stutters like that. Oh, good. Thank fuck for that. Still, that area was bullshit. <sighs> This is about the same, actually. Right. So you can see that we can barely see what the fuck's going on here. We've got this weird ripply effect. The terrain around us is barely visible. And there's this thing here. I think this is the gimmick. Excellent. I can't remember, actually, where this is going to throw us out. That's right. Okay, good. That's fine. I can live with that. I can live with that. We need to ferry our way up. See when I said this was going to be a long video? Um, I wasn't lying. Get out, Uro. Come on. Get your fucking ferry out. Here we go. Right, good. Uh, now the challenge is going to be getting down from here without wasting everybody's time excessively. Can we do it? No, we can't. No, we can't. But we're going to try. At least we know the tips, the tips and tricks of the trade. We know the cheat codes. The cheat code is to become small, because everyone loves small people. I mean, they're they're so they're so adorable. I have a glug of tea. Hopefully that will calm my nerves a bit. We're going to find two things here. Uh, well, either of two things. Either we want to find the way out, or we want to find the little grove portal thing. Uh, or we could go around in a circle. I'm I'm happy about going around in a circle. Actually, that's that's a good result. I like going around in a circle. It means we can take in more of the snowy goodness because it is so good, so good. Yeah, we probably better do it now actually because I don't really want to risk it. Although waking up here would be a bit of a setback, you could argue it would get us on the right track, perhaps a little bit more directly, rather than me pissing about in this fucking landscape. But... Oh my god, I'm making such a fucking arse of this. This is the way to celebrate um, having done so many episodes of Yumi Tuki by uh, being fucking useless. Being a bit rubbish at navigating around the map space. Let's go... Let's go up here. I like the look of up here. Because of course we've done all this before as well. We got lost in this fucking bit before, I'm sure we did. Because it's so much fun! So much fun. You don't even know the half of it. Some of the stuff that is in here... It's not even funny. Not even funny. It's getting bright again. That's definitely not funny. No, we don't want that. If I remember correctly, we want to find like a chicane. A bit of, a bit of some trance set us off nicely. There's no way I'm going to get all this done in one video. No way in hell. It's just, it's just not possible. I want to go up there. How is that accomplished, Uro? We're backtracking again. <sighs> Come on, Uro. Right, focus. Right, focus. This is this is easy. Right, fan game one one. You can do this. I know you can do it. We've had a lot of experience, you and I. We're old souls when it comes to navigating this shit. <sighs> this is the kind of thing that's going to break my resolve, though. Definitely. Definitely. I gotta say, that bit with the fucking shadow is so stressful. I I'd love to know if anyone else is keeping on the 
the pulse of Yumi Tiki has had similar experiences with that because, I mean, god damn, it is uh, intensifor, intensifor? I mean, if we could just get off of this, I would be happy with that. That would be a result in my book. I realise we might be asking a bit much of the game with such an outrageous request. I'm going around in circles again. Oh my god. Let's go up here. It's also like generic as well. It just yeah, we we even we, we did exactly that earlier on. Let's try the lower path. We might even try the left in a minute. Hard left. I've got faith that we can sort this this mess out. I don't have faith that we got we we literally just did this. Ah, oh, this is why playing Yumi Ticket um Two in the morning's a bad idea. My doctor said, "Don't do, it, don't do it, don't do it, mate, don't do it." What? What? Uro, you sneaky sausage! What are you playing at? I think this means the the little grove thing that we could really do with. Ah, thank fuck for that. Right, good. Okay. Did I say, yeah, this is going to be a long video? Just like to reiterate for anyone in the back who's unsure. Long video is long. Partly due to my own incompetence, but that's okay. You can forgive me that. I'm an old fogey at this point. I'm an old hand, and old is part of the phrase. I hope you enjoyed that bit with the the witch because we're going to do it again. I enjoyed it. So the other option would have been if we uh, got back in the bed. We may have to do that again depending on what happens. Because even after we've done that we still have a lot of fucking distance to cover. Um, we need to get back into the bed and essentially do the bit with the key again. I'm going to need to demo it. I'm almost certain of it. If this luck that we've had so far is an indicator of anything, this is not going to work out very good. But there's light on the horizon. You can see it. It's right there. It's at the bottom of the screen. You can see it. You can all can see it. I wonder what happens if you get here and you don't have the bat effect. I know some of the maps before have uh, sort of just given you the effect. The bat effect. The bat effect got nerfed. Got nerfed hard. Those were dark times. It used to be OP. You used to be able to do everything with it. No clip. God mode. It used to be useful. For a start. I mean, that was a key feature of it. Right, we'll get to the other side of the moon and then Uro's... Because the thing is, if you if you wake up from this, I say wake up, if you, you cancel this too early, the thing doesn't happen. Which is nice. Right, okay. I, I demand focus now. The, the, the fan gamers will be mighty unhappy with me if we have to look at this white screen too long. There's a vending machine that's floating on some uh, balloons. We're not playing with that. Not today. Not today. Yeah, the fan gamers will be unhappy, Uro. You gotta, you gotta think about your adoring masses and what they want. It's not what I want. What I want is um, to finish off my cup of tea and get to bed. I don't want to play with this fucking key. I don't want to play with this uh, bed. I don't want to play with that fucking shadow lady. She's gonna, she's gonna just. Oh, what did I do that for? I I missed the important step. Uh oh. 
Have I fucked it? Did the key fall on the floor, maybe? Oh, thank fuck for that. God, I was about to say that we'd just, like, broken the event somehow. <laughs> That's all I need. That's all we need. Ah, oh, man. Where's my wine? I got a nice, sophisticated glass of wine. Tea and wine. Mouthful of each. I'm classy, I am. Classy. Right. Am I emotionally ready for this? No. No, I am fucking not. Sometimes the ladder like, appears right there. Now, I may not say a lot while we're doing this because I do genuinely need to listen very closely to hear where Shadow Lady is. She's, she's going to spawn right away. I bet she does. Are you fucking... I, to I fucking knew it. Fucking knew it. I don't know if there's a trigger which makes it more likely that it happens, but sometimes it's just relentless. I'm not going that way. Yeah. I heard her. Oh, fucking she's she's literally fucking everywhere. Oh my god, fuck. Fuck. Fuck, just go, Uro. Don't care about phones. She's behind us. Either we got so lucky when we did this last time. Oh, get fuck off. Oh, great. We're back at the start. Well fucking done. This is just fucking stupid, man. Oh, you cunt! Fuck off. Get away. Ladder! Thank fuck! Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. Playing you mean Turkey, everybody. Can you believe this game is incapable is capable of inducing so much fucking stress? Holy fuck. Holy fuck. What the actual fuck? Yeah, there's no white this time. God, I, I, I feel, I'm, I'm like, I'm fucking trembling. That was, that was ridiculous. That was actually fucking ridiculous. I'm kind of glad that I got to show you guys all that because I had this vision of it just being like me when I was playing it by myself, just having this really bad luck. And I thought, I bet when I record it, it's all going to be fine. Fucking wasn't, fucking wasn't. But my amazing gamer skills, Save me. 
I wish I could say the bullshit was over, but we've actually we've still got a fucking long old way to go, including some additional bullshit mixed in for good measure. You remember all this? We did all this before. It's just a bit spicier than it was before. We're playing it on fucking ultra violence as opposed to I'm too young to die. Oh my god. Uh, I, genuine like fucking nausea in my stomach from that. I can't believe that. That was, it was relentless. Probably was all the relentless I drunk. I, I, I don't really drink a lot of energy drinks these days. Right, okay, good. Down the hole. Hole in one, as they say. Yeah, we did this already. We don't need to watch this. We did this bit. It's Uro swimming. You've seen Uro swimming before. Right, no traffic cones this time. I guess this means the area has some content in it. And that it does. Now, this <laughs> is a funny story, right? There is some bullshittery happening in here as well. We're over 30 minutes already and we're still looking at stuff that you've seen before but there is a difference. Bear with me. I know I ask a lot of you fan gamers. Over all these years you have put up with a lot of my bullshit and a lot of the game's bullshit but just honestly it is worth it. Now you see this? This fucking thing here? We need to go and insert Uro into that. How would we do that? Well Funny you should ask. You have to navigate around this fucking wiggly mess for a while. Which I'm not emotionally ready for. But, you know, needs must. The viewers want Uro. And who am I to deny the viewers their Uro fix? Um, it does rely on me being able to navigate a fucking... There needs to be like a technical name for this. Is it a Z-axis maze? I don't know. Somebody who knows um, RPG Maker parlance can perhaps fill me in on that. Right. It's on the screen, actually. It's on the screen. The thing that we need to do is on the screen. Um, be, be forgiven for thinking that it's something going to be... It's going to be quite obvious, right? You think, okay, right, I'll, I'll just... Maybe I'll go down here. Right, I'll go down here. Yeah, there's some further maze bits, so maybe there's some payoff now. No, this is just bullshit that's down here. It's just, it's just a dead end with a fucking squashed ghost from the Pac-Man wiggling about. No, actually, mate, what you want is this. You want to go down here. Did you know you could do that? Now, for whatever reason, the fucking NPCs in here seem to have more interactivity in them than the whole rest of the game combined. Because they do stuff. Why is this? I, I, I don't know. I, I genuinely don't know. It's nice. I like it. These things as well. These are good fun. Watch this. There they go. Bouncing away. That's it. We freed them from their captivity. Bounce freely, my young friends. The world is your bouncy oyster. We can play with this as well. This is good fun. Yeah, good. What about this? Yeah, nice. Nice. It's all, it's all good, yeah. Get out of the fucking way. Right. Good. Good. I feel a bit better. I knew this was going to take ages, though. I knew it. I knew it. But it's okay. We got there. We got there. We got there. Now there was a thing actually I wanted to demonstrate at the beginning and uh, I forgot, but that's okay uh, because it will make sense in a moment. So this area is a bit reminiscent of the old, um, what became the Flying Fish World, I think. Um, it has nice ambience, right, okay, perfect, that's what I was looking for. Um, let's go in this phone box. It's like we're Bill and Ted in an uh, excellent adventure. There's a telephone here. Let's use it. And we're back here. Where is back here? Well, we're in the fucking alternative apartments area, of course. Now, that's actually very useful because it means that you don't have to go through all of that stuff that we just went through to get back there, which is important because in the next episode, I don't intend to do all of that again. 
Um, so that's lucky. And you can literally just go in here, down the stairs. Once you've done it once, that's it. It's open. I meant to illustrate that at the start, but I, I forgot. So that's fine. And it takes us back here. Is that the end of our adventure? What do you think? What do you think, dreamers? Do you think it's the end of the adventure? Do you really? Fucking isn't. Let's get a drink. I could, I could do with a drink. What's this? No, that's not a drink. You lied to me. Okay. I know this animation is so good. You just want to look at it loads of times. Why am I doing this anyway? I don't know. Um, but that was a natural break. And I'm kind of glad that we got to a natural break. To be honest. Otherwise, this would just be a fucking beast of a video. So that works out okay. Right, great. Fantastic. Fucking long old episode. <sighs> episode 149 of the Let's Play the Yumi Tuki. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. You've been fantastic. And I hope to see you on the next one.